About a year and a half ago, I was pretty desperate for money. I did not have a job other than YouTube and I wasn't necessarily raking in the views. Now my apartment complex apparently doesn't accept shout outs as a form of payment for rent. So I had to improvise. I had to find a way to make some dough. Basically what I did is I started flipping items on Facebook Marketplace. Buy low, sell high. I know, I'm a hustler. What I realized after a few weeks is some people can get really, really angry if you make a low ball offer, like a somewhat low offer. And it's kind of funny. So today I'm gonna make some insanely low offers on people's listings and see what happens. So first I need an alias. I need to hide my identity, my true identity. I'm making a new account. I'm trying to think of like one of those names that is such a troll, like, um, oh my god. Huge ass lowballs. No, wait, it can't be straight up lowballs. Huge ass lowballs. Huge jazz lowballs. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make an email real quick. You jazz, oh my god, I can't type, lobals at gmail.com. Shoot me an email, guys. Password, and we're in. Let's go, Hugh. Let's make some offers. Oh, frick, I need a picture. I got an idea. Oh my god, this is perfect. This is perfect. <laughs> Whose dad is this? I'm sorry. I am so sorry, but I have to use this. God, that's perfect. What's up, Hugh? How's it going? This is the best day of my life. What's on your mind, Hugh? About to make some low balls, baby. Let's do this. Describe who you are. Name is Hugh. I'm known for my low balls. Post. How do you go to Marketplace? Facebook. There it is. Do I just look up Marketplace? Isn't it like a massive aspect of their website? I hate Facebook. Okay, I'm just gonna look it up. Huge ass low balls coming in hot. Oh, this is in Texas. How do I change my location? New York. I think people in New York are just gonna get mad at me <laughs> for some reason. I kinda wanna go for some like high ticket items and just see what people say when I lowball the heck out of them. Okay, here's a here's a 2009 Kia Sedona. Ask for details, can I not make an offer? Oh, I need to log in, boom. What? Am I not allowed to go to freaking Marketplace? What? I, I can't do it? I'm so confused. Let's see. Congrats, two mil! She just hit two million subscribers. I'm about to make some low balls. What do you think about my profile? Why won't Facebook let me access Marketplace? Yeah, that's exactly my problem. I don't know what's going on. Facebook Marketplace. Facebook slash Marketplace. Sorry, this content isn't available right now. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be back in a second. Okay, so update. Apparently I'm not allowed to go on Facebook Marketplace as huge jazz lowballs. Which, you know, I think that's pretty fair. It would be pretty sketchy if some guy that didn't exist was able to make offers on stuff. So I guess I'll just have to use my own Facebook. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm on Facebook Marketplace and I put the location as New York again. So let's just get started. One thing I hate about Facebook, so obnoxious. Look at this shirt. You done messed up, A.A. Ron. It was like five years ago. That that was relevant. Seventeen ninety nine. You gotta be kidding me. So a lot of the stuff I used to flip was like video game stuff, like uh, Xbox and whatnot. I put the the minimum at a thousand dollars. So these are my top picks. Here's an iMac, an Apple iMac. So let's see, what do we want to send him? Would you do one twenty? That is a nice computer. <laughs> a lot of these people, I probably won't even respond to me just out of sheer ignorance. My ignorance, that is. Here's another iMac. These are fantastic. Okay, so I'm just gonna say, is this available? you know, kind of build them up a little bit, and then we will make our awesome offer. What if some of these people say yes? <laughs> I actually have to go to New York in that case, because that's a good deal. Where are the vehicles at? I'm gonna vehicles. Here's a Ford Focus, it's a pretty sweet car. Is this available? It's got some marks on there. Here's an Acura. Let's see, how much should I offer for this Acura? I'm just gonna say $20. No context other than just 20 bucks. Let's see what they say. I haven't gotten any messages yet. Oh, this is a sick car. Look at that. 3,500, that thing is sweet. Is this available? Click. Look at that car. It's got the, is that a butterfly door? That is sweet. I feel like people with trucks will really get mad at me. Truck. I just want trucks. 2004 F-150. This was my dream. Oh, it's a dealership. I don't want to message dealerships. They're not going to reply to me. 2017 BMW i8. Message. Is this still available? The real sauce is going to come in whenever they start replying. You know, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm done with cars. Entertainment? Okay, let's do this arcade machine. Let's see what they say. Hey, is the machine available? Lamborghini. 
Who sells Lamborghinis on Facebook Marketplace? Oh my gosh, Harley Davidson Pinball, whoever owns this is gonna get pissed at me. Let's go to electronics. How about this uh, Sony A7R 3 What's your best offer? Which is what she should be asking me. Still no responses, are you serious? I feel like most people are like on Facebook all the time. I am telling you guys, this is like what I did for like six months to make money. It was actually really good money. A lot of people think it's kind of like messed up to do, wrong even, but it's a buy and sell type world, you know, supply and demand. Sometimes people want to get rid of their stuff for some cash. It's just the way it goes. What is this? This is $4,000. I wish you guys could see this guy's name. It's awesome. Almost as good as huge ass low balls. Okay. I have gotten no responses. I've sent like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 messages. I think I'm going to come back in like 30 minutes to an hour and see if we have any responses. So see you there. One hour later and we have a ton of responses. So let's see what we got here. Did he respond? 120? 120? Yes. For the computer. Is this available? Yes, sir. So he's asking 4,000. I'll do 400. Okay, so Brad says this is available. They're asking for 3,500. Would you be open to the 100, 200 ballpark? Surely he'll be open to that. Mel. <laughs> I offered $20 for this Acura. She said, $20 for what? <laughs> the car. Eric, yes. Hey, is the machine still available? I'll accept your offer. <laughs> for 150. He's asking 1500, drop off a zero. If I just act completely oblivious, maybe they won't get mad at me. Okay, Harley Davidson pinball machine, this thing right here. I'll meet you in the middle at 200. I'm gonna get my butt kicked. 2017 BMW i8. Can you meet me in the middle? <laughs> Let's see what they say. I didn't even offer a price yet, so that's ironic. Uh, okay, the F Ford Focus is available. I think the moment they get the most offended is when they think it might actually be a serious offer. Asking 6,200 for this Ford Focus, I'm gonna say 3,500. I almost feel bad. But honestly, like people like this who like flip, who like are selling cars, on a Facebook marketplace are probably doing exactly what I did. <laughs> Lowballing the heck out of someone else and then reselling it for more. That is the epitome of a used car dealership. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start DMing some more people. Ooh, this is cool. Let me go to all. Is this a house? Okay, so they're asking for 180 grand for this house. I'm gonna say I'll do 150 cash. So this is the this is the BMW i8. No, I cannot. You have to come to my yard to inspect vehicles because the majority are salvage titles and cannot be driven on the road. No, I mean the price. Can you meet me in the middle? Am I a bad person? What is this, a guitar? Oh, this is a bass. Hey Daphne, can you do 200? I have a good feeling about that one. Wait, what? They have to be messing with me. <laughs> I offered 120 for this computer and he said someone's coming to pick it up for 200 later. <laughs> I really gotta appreciate these guys' sense of humor. Dang it. Okay, I'll meet you in the middle at 250, but you have to save it for me. <laughs> He's asking 3,500 for this awesome car, okay? I said, would you be open to the 100, 200 ballpark? Sold, we have a deal. I am already having a good time. 200 nah, make your best counter offer. 3,500, make your best offer. I'll accept your offer for 150. I'm selling it for 1500. Oh, how about 150? So far, not much luck. I think this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make an offer on a bunch of things, uh, just like as many as I can physically get myself to do. And then we'll come back tomorrow and see everyone's responses. That sounds like a plan to me. Is this Shane Dawson? Lots of Christian books, just like Shane Dawson. So yes, I will see you guys tomorrow and hopefully, fingers crossed, huge ass low balls can do his thing. Work his magic. All right, see ya. <laughs> Welcome back. It is in fact the next day. There is probably the biggest thunderstorm of the year outside my window right now, so please forgive me if there's any massive lightning bolts and or thunder roars. I'm really excited right now because I had my phone blowing up with Facebook Messenger notifications and I think a lot of people replied. So what we're gonna see right now is one, if anyone accepted our offer. I mean, come on, that'd be awesome. And two, if anyone, <laughs> If anyone got severely upset at my huge ass lowball. Okay, so I asked this guy who's selling the Volkswagen Bradley GT, this bad boy right here, if he would do 100 to 200 dollars. And I thought he said sold as in like, you got it. You got the deal. Like it's yours. <laughs> so I said, we have a deal. Thank you. And he said, no, the car is sold. It's quite the disappointment. I'm not gonna lie. 
I can't say I'm surprised though. I thought he was going along with the charade. Okay, this is genuinely concerning. He's selling an Apple iMac for $1,400. And I said 120, and he said, someone's coming to pick it up for 200. And I said, I'll meet you in the middle at 250, which isn't logical by any stretch of the imagination. And he said, I already promised him, if you don't pick it up tonight, then it's yours. Is he selling this computer for 200? Honestly, I'm not even gonna ask. Here we go. So I offered $20 for this car. And he said $20 for what? The car. Go kick rocks, LMFAO. You smoke meth. <laughs> Who your supplier could just be good. Okay, apparently he sold it, so good for him. <laughs> I don't smoke meth. I don't even know what meth is. I'm not gonna lie. That's very funny. So whenever I was doing this to like make side money, the people who got the most upset was like video game owners and people trying to sell like their video game consoles. And the offer wouldn't even be that insulting. Like, I, okay, I said 150 cash for all this stuff. Very big, huge ass lowball. And he just said WTF. WTF equals, wow, that's fair. Kids and their acronyms these days. I don't know what he's referring to. I kind of feel like a brat right now. Poor guy. He said, I said, decent boat at best. I can offer 2,500 cash and a shovel made of vibranium. Very low quality. He said, cool man, take care. Thanks. I think a lot of these people didn't even give me the time of day. You know, it's been, it's been about 24 hours. They're asking $126 for this couch set, which is honestly a great deal. I said, looks uncomfortable at best. $15. Seen by Mickey. I'm so sorry, Mickey, I'm not interested. I was being so dumb last night. This person's asking $200 for this living room set. Looks like a nice set of furniture. I said, I have a pet snake. I'll do 75. <laughs> Completely irrelevant to the situation, but hey, I also lied. I don't have a pet snake. That makes me a liar and an absolute bum. What was I doing last night? This guy's asking $440 for a Nintendo Switch setup. I said, can you do 650? <laughs> 650 is more than what I'm asking for. Can you do it or not? People are so hard to bargain with nowadays. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so this is this guitar, okay? 350 bucks for this Fender Mexican Stratocaster. $30 for you to follow me around and play Ain't Talking About Love by Van Halen. 12 hours for $10 an hour. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I said $30 and then 12, okay. What is this video? I genuinely apologize. So here's a three-piece theater style reclining set, which is pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. If I ever had a movie theater in my dream house, this is, I, I would need, I would need this. So I said, I'd like to make an offer after speaking with my boss, Hugh. Mr. Jass Lobels, <laughs> Mr. Jass Lobels has told me to offer $100 for the seats we can drop off, which doesn't make any sense because they would be delivering it to us. No thank you for your offer, but it's not possible. This is store is new, which doesn't make any sense. 75. So for this uh, $24,000 RV, I said, I could go on a road trip in this with my mentor. <laughs> I'm so immature. Wow. We can offer 15,000 cash. He said, sight unseen. Sorry, I don't hack on messenger. Fair enough. I understand. Let's see what we got here. So this guy's asking $19,000 for this pretty sweet thing. It's just, I don't know what this is. It's like a vehicle of some sort. I said, this is awesome, Roger. Can you do 8K? No, Roger can't do that. Roger that. <coughs> So this guy's asking four grand for this sweet camera setup. I said, is this available? And he said, yes, I'll do 400 for everything. No, just the camera, which is like $3,000. <laughs> okay, this one was very confusing. It says 2015 Chevy Camaro, but it's a picture of a woman. So I was like, hello, I can do 2000 cash, but where's the car? And she just said, Dow. Dow. I was trolling so hard last night. I hope you guys don't think I'm this immature. Okay, that's fair. I, this guy's asking 120 for a pretty sweet pool table, right? I, I honestly love pool. It'd be fun to have. I said, how fast does it go? <laughs> he said, good question. I don't know. We are talking about a pool table, right? Yes, I'm referring to the table. So this absolutely sweet decked out Chevy Silverado is going for $12,000, 12 big ones. I said, nice. My mentor, Hugh Jass Lobels, <laughs> my mentor, Hugh Jass Lobels has recommended I offer 2,300. Do we have a deal? He literally is so confused. All he said was, well, how do you, how do you audibly say, huh? I would say that, I would say a question mark audibly is like, huh? Yes, thanks. $3,500 Dodge Ram. This is awesome. Can you do me a favor and accept 550? No. Okay. <laughs> Ew. If a tornado busts through my window right now, please smash like button. Okay, so here's a punching bag. Pretty sweet. This guy's selling it for 175. I said, I'll pay you $5 to let me punch it. <laughs> he said, that's a bet. All right. Well, I'm not gonna respond back because I'm not actually gonna do that, but I appreciate his willingness to work with me. So there's a house. There's literally a house on Facebook Marketplace. 
that I made an offer on. I said, I'll do 150 cash, like $150. Good morning, Ryan, I appreciate your offer. I will accept $174,900. Do we have a deal? I'm gonna send a picture of $200, one sec. Two big ones. Is this working? Oh, there we go. God, I'm so sorry. I, I am the worst person probably on earth right now. Oh, I think that's all we have. Okay, I, I think that's all the responses we got today, but I just wanna go through all the, the messages that people left me on scene for. So this guy's selling a generator, $390. I'm not even sure what a generator does. I kind of, I know it. Okay, I know what it does. I said, how much horsepower? Just the idea of these people opening these messages. I would do anything to see the reaction. <laughs> so for this Geo Tracker, which is like a really old car, 1994, I said, my girlfriend loves these cars. Can I have it? I'll buy you lunch. <laughs> Granted, he's asking 450 for it, which is honestly a pretty good deal. If you like want to fix it up, have a little project. <laughs> okay, Ashley's selling this Supreme backpack for $100. I said, I'll pay two. 200 if it's fake only and she left me on red fair game my boss mr jass lobels is offering 200 for this if it has high horsepower it's a bike and it's, it's already been sold so i guess that's a no no go dane <laughs> i almost puked so this guy is selling his dumbbell set the dude's just got his toes all over the listing i said i'll pay you one dollar per visible toe that's nine dollars <laughs> and he left me on red i think that's all we have peace